Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So uh, we had a good night's sleep, and the sun just just came up now. Um, I think it's about six six thirty somewhere there. Yeah. It is six thirty. Six thirty. So we had well, Ben actually had a chat with uh, with the local here at the at the hotel. We are at Helmering Housing Hotel. Uh, it is, it's the only accommodation in town. It is like this is a one horse street and uh, we haven't seen the horse yet. So, um, but uh, yeah, that's the only accommodation. It's one street and it's a shop, there's a petrol station, a couple of houses, and then the hotel. Um, but yes, I had a chat with him last night just asking him a little bit about the roads because um, there's not two roads that you can that we can ride towards where we're going and he said to me you can ride all of the roads it's beautiful except the roads to us that's the road that we came from and uh yeah when i told him that is where we came from he looked at me and he says that is why you're so tired <laughs> <laughs> so um so we are looking at the doing the one road that also goes through a reserve today. I don't, um, I don't know if we actually get to the reserve. You go through the reserve? No, I know. Yeah. But to Sosa's flow. Yes. I'm saying I don't know if we get, we will get to the reserve today. No, no, no. I don't think so. Um, so to Sosa's flow, the road is about 230 kilometers from here, which isn't really far. Depends on if it's sand. If it's yes. sand, it's very far. And that is also the other thing, is that um, all the gravel roads, um, doesn't matter if they see or, uh, or the roads, um, the condition of them varies as if they, it's, it's gravel roads and it all depends on how much traffic they had and when was the last time they were graded. But um, what we saw yesterday, I think the grader has gone past here. Um, peak season is finished in Namibia, so I think that they have now graded after everybody has left. And so I think the road should be fine. Well, I hope so. Because so, yesterday, which road did road. you? Well, we decided, I think, if I'm correct, um, we decided to take um, basically the bottom road. It's the C27. It's C27. So um, there's a couple of camping sites along the way in case it's sandy and we actually don't get that far. Um, and then there's a small town I think where we can fill up, I can't remember what the name is. Um, but it also has a camping site and it's about a hundred and something kilometers away. It's 105k, so it is halfway. Halfway, um, I think that we will camp around day tonight. You will see, maybe we're there at 10 o'clock. So we don't have a... We know what route we want to ride, we don't know if we're going to ride that route. Um, today, the whole day. So there's a part of it that goes through a nature reserve, and uh, then we are on our way to Sausage Fly. So we will see where we get today. Yeah. We do need to buy some food ideally before we leave. Yeah. So I think we need to wait till at least seven, eight until we can leave because we do want to. I don't know if you want to put petrol in. No, we need to put petrol in. And we also need to buy some food for the ride. So I think we do all that and pack up a tent. And then we get going and see if we have another day of wonderful sand riding. Now we're going to pack up, um, wait till shops open, and then we're going to hit the road. Petrol, petrol, petrol station. Looks like they are busy. No, 
now we can fill up. Well, hopefully the truck didn't take all the petrol. Morning. I think we're gonna go back like a short section on the road that we were on yesterday, right? Yes. Okay. Alright, so we got two minute noodles and cookies and then fuel. So we are good to go. It's now nine o'clock. <laughs> a little bit late, but it's okay. So we have a short section to do of, uh, of the road we came in in yesterday. And then we have a turn off to the right and we're gonna follow that. We don't have that many options on the gravel roads. From here we actually had two options. So that road is supposedly better than the road we did yesterday. Less sandy. So let's hope so. If the whole gravel road is like this, it will be amazing. But is it better than this little section that we just did now? Much better. It's like a proper, completely hard surface highway over there. Oh, yay! <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think we're doing 60. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> the colors are amazing, eh? Yeah. I like Namibia. 
as long as there's no sand. Yeah, it's nice. Actually, quite. Yeah, I'm not complaining. No, it's actually very nice uh, weather and temperature to be riding in. And it's still 29 degrees. Yeah, I think we are used to the heat by now. See, I would almost say it's cold. I won't go that far, but. <laughs> I just think it's nice. It's going to slow down. I will give you space on this side. No? Okay, I'll give you space on the other side. Oh! So sorry! But yeah, well, he didn't slam in there with his body. He actually went in there with his horns. We only, we were only riding like 25 kilometers an hour. No, oh, no. Okay, I feel a little bit guilty now. No man, that was that's his uh, party trick. Sorry? That's his party trick. He's like, this is how I get party over trick. the Yeah. <laughs> Look at those mountains. Yep. break over here. I'm just gonna go to the other side.
become better and um, yeah so we just decided now uh, quick chat looked on the maps and see where we are and stuff do you think we're going to sleep over at better tonight tomorrow we only then have 130 kilometers to do to Cesarim but then we go through a reserve and so then we can uh, take our time and uh, look at uh, animals and hopefully we see some cool stuff but if we carry on now and go into the reserve then we can't really take our time so it is short day short day but we get time to enjoy the landscapes and enjoy hopefully wildlife oh, it's clearing up again uh, now it's later now it's later again we met uh, well somebody stopped next to the road with us here um, just to see if we're all right a guy with, 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 with the nickname of Skilly. Of Skilly. <laughs> and, uh, he raced the Dakar on quad. <laughs> <laughs> you meet the most random, amazing people on the road. But it's fine, we already decided anyway to stay in the next nearest town, which is only like 25 kilometers away or something. So we have all the time in the world. Oh. Let me try out this side. Oh, nope. Let me try out there. Yep, nope. <laughs> oh, just stick to the road. Hey, goodbye. Hey, it's okay. There's space. Okay, Casey, you are now in trouble. I am now in trouble. The, in a very bad place. Because I was stupid. I need to go to the other side but I need to cross this heap over here Wah! I should just do it and two three Wah! there we go <laughs> you're gonna go all the way there what is this is this soft no it's not it's perfect no corrugation yeah And guess what? We have struck sand again. Well, it's not deep sand. Here it's actually fine. Um, yeah, it's getting a little bit better. It's just a start. We're back there. <laughs> In the last 20 kilometers, the road was so nice. All the way up until here. And then we hit the sand for a bit. So it took us a little bit longer. It seems like it might be the town. Um, here it is. This is better. Okay. Very, very small. Hello, buddy. You're a message. Mm -hmm. Alright, so 
be called a campsite. Well, it is it's not actually a campsite. It is a whole private um, building with, you just have to put pitch tent. It, there's no bed, but that's, that's about it. The rest is all there. So this whole building is a private, um, Oh, let me just park. It is a uh, private bathroom and there's actually a little kitchen so we can actually make food even though we don't have food with us. Um, yes, there's a shop and they sell meat um, and some drinks. <laughs> um, so, yeah, here is a ladder that goes up so we can actually go have a sundowner on top on the deck it's donkey boiler fire in there we've got electricity got a table fireplace it's trash bins you also have g gas stoves and this is kitchen and uh, you can also just throw the sleeping mats here the bathroom and then you have a party shower I mean this shower is so big you can have a disco inside you so this is very nice 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 oh there's no great story ever start with someone eating a salad. I'm sure there's one story. So those are 70 bucks and that's all cool. Alright, it's gonna be dinner. And we have sausage, bread, tomato sauce, lacquer. We are going half an hour, we have warm water. Now we can have a shower. <laughs> 